Hi, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how to install latest Eclipse IDE that is 2022-03 with Java 18 on Windows 10 machine. First, we will install Java 18 on Windows 10 machine and then we will install latest version of Eclipse IDE that is 2022-03 version. Well, let's head over to the browser. Well, I'm in a Chrome browser. You can use any browser that you want. Go to the new tab, just type download java and hit enter and more probably you will get a link from the oracle site so just go ahead and click on this java downloads link over here this will navigate to the oracle official website downloads page and right now you can see java 18 and java 17 available well we are going to basically you know install and set up java 18 so let's go to java 18 tab over here and here you can see different operating systems linux mac os and windows well we are going to only focus on windows in this video so just go ahead and click on windows well here you can see couple of options we are going to basically choose installer so go ahead and click on this x64 installer it means this is for windows 64 bit so just go ahead and click on this link so this will download you know exe file in a file system just wait a couple of seconds to download it now the exe file is successfully downloaded next let's go ahead and let's double click on this exe file next go ahead and click on this next button and here you can see this is the path where the java jdk will get installed well if you want to change you can change by using this change option over here but we are going to keep this path as it is next go ahead and click on this next well jdk is successfully installed next go ahead and click on close now let's go ahead and let's verify whether the java jdk 18 is successfully installed or not well go to the start menu and here just search for file system or a file explorer and click on file explorer and go to this pc and go to c drive let me maximize it and go to programs files and go to java and there we go jdk 18 all right it means that jdk 18 is successfully installed in a windows machine okay next what we're going to do is we're going to set the environment variable for this java jdk so it's pretty simple just go to jdk and go to bin folder and just go ahead and copy this path okay and next go to again start and here just type edit edit the system environment variables so just go ahead and click on this and next click on this environment variables and there we go now we need to set the environment variables well here basically you can see two sections first one is user variables for ramesh second is system variables so first one is basically user specific second one is basically system specific okay now let's first uh, set the java home variable for user only so go ahead and click on this new and just type variable name as java underscore home and just provide a value variable value as up to this okay c program file slash java slash jdk 18.0.1.1 okay so this is basically a variable value for this java home variable name okay next go ahead and click on this ok button over here now we have added java home variable to the user ramesh well some of the developer you know prefer adding this java home variable to the system variables as well okay but here i have added this java home variable to the ramesh user so this is basically a user specific next we need to set the path okay so go to system variables click on path click on edit and click on new here and then just type the syntax percentage followed by the variable name that is java underscore home and then percentage followed by slash and then bin okay so this is the syntax to fetch the value of a variable okay so we just pass a variable name here 
in order to get the variable value right followed by slash followed by bin okay so make sure that you provide the correct syntax okay now go ahead and click on okay and then click on okay okay and then finally click on okay over here all right perfect now in order to verify the java version and java compiler version so go to start and just type cmd and open this command prompt let me maximize this and just type the command java hyphen hyphen version and hit enter and there we go java 18 is displayed over here it means that java 18 is successfully installed in a windows machine you can also verify the java compiler version as well just type java c hyphen hyphen version and there we go java compiler version is also 18.0.1.1 it means that we have successfully installed java jdk 18 on our windows machine well let's go to browser i'm in a chrome browser and just type download eclipse and hit enter and just go ahead and click on first link that is eclipse downloads so this will navigate to the official website of eclipse so just scroll down and here you can see the option get eclipse id 2022-03 well this is the latest version of eclipse id as of now well let's go and let's click on this download button to get eclipse id for windows 64 bit machine so just click on download and this will navigate to the download page again and here you have another option like select another mirror well we are going to use this download button over here in order to download the eclipse id from this okay location so go ahead and click on this download and well you can see here eclipse id is downloading it has a size 113 mb so let's wait a couple of seconds to complete the download well eclipse exe file is successfully downloaded next let's go and let's double click on this exe file well after clicking on exe file eclipse installer opened now let's go and let's choose the appropriate installer well we need eclipse id to develop the java programs and java projects right so go ahead and click on this eclipse id for java developers and here we need to choose the installation folder as well as the jdk location well by default eclipse installer will fetch the jdk location from the windows machine well we have just installed java 18 right so that is the location uh, you know eclipse installer will get populated over here and then installation folder well eclipse installer will give an installation folder by default this one if you want to change you can go ahead and change this installation folder by using this option okay but i think this default installation folder looks good so let's keep this one and just keep this create start menu entry and create desktop shortcut as selected over here because we need a eclipse shortcut uh, in a desktop as well as in a start menu next go ahead and click on this install button over here so this will start installing the eclipse id so before that here we need to accept the license so go ahead and click on this accept now and it will start installing eclipse id well look at here installation successfully done and you can go ahead and click on this launch button to launch the eclipse id so i'm going to click on this launch so this will launch the eclipse id now the eclipse id launched here we need to select the directory as a workspace well workspace is nothing but a location where all the java projects and programs will get stored well by default eclipse will provide this location as a workspace so you can change by using this browse option okay for example let's say i want to create workspace in a desktop folder something like let's say ramesh underscore workspace something like this and select this folder ramesh workspace select this folder and you can able to see ramesh underscore workspace is the workspace for this eclipse okay next go ahead and click on this launch well look at here eclipse id is launched now let me maximize this let's go and let's quickly create one simple java project 
and also let's create one hello world java program well you can create a java project from here but i'm going to create a java project from this file menu so just go ahead and click on file new and then click on java project let's give project name as java project demo okay and you can see use default location well we have used this is the location as a workspace right next we have to choose the jdk well we have already installed jdk 18 and our eclipse id is also referring to jdk 18 so just choose use a project specific gre and then in a drop down just choose jdk 18 okay and here and you know just uncheck this create module info.java file here because we are creating a simple java project right so go ahead and click on next over here and then we have created a java project so here we no need to change anything just go ahead and click on finish all right perfect we have created a simple java project within a java project let's create one simple hello world java program we'll go to src folder right click on it new and then choose java package and let's quickly create a simple package something like com dot java dot example or let's say demo hit enter within this package let's create a one simple class let's call it as hello world and then make sure that you choose public static wide main method over here okay and finally let's click on finish button so this will create a class called hello world class within that class we have a main method okay so let's go and let's put one system dot out print ln statement and let's print some string so here just type system dot out dot print ln and then just pass the string something like hello world okay perfect let's save this file and let's go and let's execute this program well in order to execute this program right click run as java application and there we go in a console you can able to see hello world string is printed okay well let me put one more this out and let me print some other string well we have a shortcut just type s y s and then followed by out so this is the shortcut for system dot out print ln and just pass the strings let's say thanks ramesh something like this all right just save it right click run as java application and there we go string is successfully printed in a console it means that we have successfully installed eclipse id in a windows 10 machine and we have successfully created java project as well as a simple java program okay great i will see you in next video